Love the secrecy. What's this plan of yours? Here, that is my big plan. What is that? Be pulling our boat up the river. Okay, interesting. How do we know we won't trash about in the sink? You're a gentle and timid creature for the most part. She's unlikely to cause a fuss. Is now poon peas. We're relying a lot on animals for this journey. You should be thankful we have an animal expert on our guys, our guide. But did it have to be my old nemesis? I her let her boat. Well, I took. You for someone who was up to the challenge, was I wrong? <sighs> Look ago, when fighting still rage between this, these river boats to move swiftly through hostile territory. The vessels see little use of Tural now at peace, so I was able to borrow one of the few which remain. I did consider it dirigible, but the pilots warned me that the updrafts near the falls would have landing difficult. Appear to be several on the water. I love a tea traveling up the river, I presume. Seems that way. Does this mean you've earned two keystones already? I can't believe how well you've managed this despite undertaking the contest alone. I was never alone. I've had my own entourage with me since the beginning. My friends, it's been, well, not that long. Tank ready, Ranji, what are you doing here? Escorting a promise, the same as you. I've heard much of the incomparab incomparable Archons during my time at the studio. As soon as the contest was confirmed, I thought who better to recruit to my cause. I contacted the Scarlark, who arranged an introduction to these gentlemen. The second promise had prom specific requirements. They would D, who would be his assistants, must boast both proven survival skills and mastery of the arcane arts. Just a tank red and I received a summons. My own studies concentrated on technology, which our people could readily use. Such inventions born of magitech or clever engineering. Where magic was concerned, I cover only the foundation. No, oh, you two, I expect you had other reasons for accepting the job. Phew, the name of Tuliolal spans an entire continent. Depending on who wins the throne, the world may be plunged into instability once more. Ever have we striven to preserve peace. Where is our place if not here and now? We did our due diligence, of course, and made sure of who we were working with before agreeing to this endeavor. He's even more opaque than Yuranje at times, but is surprisingly. That's quite enough of that. We must be on our way. 
Wait, I have one question before you leave. Kona and Wukamat are vying for the throne as Kona's entourage. Does that mean you're resolved to defeat all his opponents, including us? We've sworn to do all in our part to win this contest for Kona, even if it means competing against our own comrades. We intend to hold nothing back, and I expect you to do the same. And we won't disappoint you. I thought you were taking a boat. If even you have been forced to travel water, then the others will be doing the same. I would rather walk than risk confronting than con risk confrontation on a leaky barge with no possibility of retreat. It's true that I can't stand boats. But I trust the route. Aronville has chosen us. Leave the handle of the Puni T to me. Should other wildlife attack us, however, I may have difficulty to keeping her under control. And stand guard, although it may be wise to have at least one of us sit up front of your own way. I like to stay on deck. I'm eager to put my pick to a man seat to the proof. I'll take any chance to show that I can hold my own. And Kral will stand on guard with patios. Perinville Company, then. With my blade, I can respond more quickly to threats than Alphano. Thank you. If a fight breaks out, I'll try to stay out of it. I shall endeavor to provide aid. I can do that as well. Cover most eventualities, secure your gear, and board the boat. <laughs> Let the hunt begin. Oh, this is going to be a dungeon? Interesting. First dungeon of Dawn Trail. He stones down with one. We gotta take the river. Let's go.
Ready, let's go. First dungeon, let's do this. Cool job just attacking us, oh shit. Buckle Jaja's running away from us.
Prime Kunich team. Ooh, nice. That's a giant whale for sure. Let's go. I'm thinking going on here. Indiana Jones or Tomb Raider or something. Oh, what the heck?
mimics.
Apex Predator, the Apollyon. Nice. Oh my god, yeah, this boss is gonna be awesome. I remember this boss from older Final Fantasy games. Yeah, I remember this boss from the older Final Fantasy games. Oh, this is gonna be awesome.
That was intense. This is as far as we can go on foot, it seems. <sighs> we'll have to head back and see about fixing the boat. What were we doing to not catch up to you? Those caverns you travelers were dug by the Lokuhi in search for gold remnants of their excavation can be found throughout the region. I'll appreciate a lesson, old wise guide. Are we up landing this boat anytime soon? Our river journey is almost over. For proof of that, you need only look ahead. were impressive enough from a distance, but it's almost too much now. It's amazing, now please let me off. No more boats, please. Are you okay? Oh, you're not alright. Be a welcome repeat. Have you have you the strength for a walk, Mott? We can rest along the way. Damn well. Promise is meant to be uh, promise is meant to lead from the front, not mule and moan like a sick kitten. Ignore me. It's the nausea talking. I'm fine, really. Lead on. I'll follow. Very well, but if I may say one thing. Just because you're a promiser claiming it to the throne doesn't mean you can't be seen to struggle. You need to bear this burden alone, so please don't hesitate to talk to us. We're always willing to lend an ear. But cry, Lily. One's allowed to be weak sometimes. As well. I always believe this is my problem alone, but perhaps we have the right of it.
Alright, I'll talk about the things. Just give me a moment, collect my thoughts. I'll be waiting in the shelter when you're ready. or hurting, that ending to weakness would bring shame. But if you say you're willing to listen, then there are things I'd like to talk about. Okay, let's go. Well, let's catch up the others. Tried first. Just to be a settlement here. There, there they are. Oh, we should stop here for the night. I understand there's light to rush ahead, but we need to recuperate. Then it's settled. We'll need a cook fire, and there's a meal preparation. the adopted child of the Dawn Servant. I was but a ball of fuzz at the time, so I don't remember much. My earliest memories are of life in the palace. All I know is that I was born in Ikbrash, a village in Yaktel. But I've never bothered to return there. As far as I'm concerned, Ulul Jaja is my only parent. I quite understand. I have no memories of my birth parents either. For a while, I wanted to learn who they were. But over time, that curiosity waned. Galif was my dear grandfather. And he was all I needed. So our situations were quite similar. Even though Papa already had a trueborn son, he raised me and Kona with no less love. One time, <laughs> I'd wandered off alone into the forest and gotten lost. Before I became a meal for some beast, Papa dropped everything and came to my rescue. I was scared and sobbing and ready for a scolding, but the Head of Resolve praised me for surviving the ordeal. I did get my lecture from the Head of Reason, though. He went on and on about the dangers of the jungle and all the horrible ways I could have died. Growing up, Papa was kind and patient, but a tyrant when it came to training. Now, of course, I realize he was preparing me for my duties as a promise. For all the good it did. There's so much I failed to learn about my own country. Whether it's alpacas or ihihana, I hardly know anything. I've lived such a sheltered life, yet convinced myself I understood Tural and its people.
I don't have Kona's education. Or Zoralja's strength. I'm all bluff and bravado. Not fit to bear my title. Why do you want the throne? Why? Because my father built a nation where everyone can live in peace. And I want to keep it that way. Hmm. I... I think I see what you're saying. My reasons for joining the contest have nothing to do with my brothers. It's always been about the Turali, and what I can do for them. You said it yourself. How important it is to properly know something. To hear the voices of others, empathize with how they feel, and think how best to serve. In so doing, you'll come ever closer to being the person you wish to be. I'm sorry, everyone. I've been a fool. From this moment on, I'll stop trying to be the promise I'm not. I won't faint strength to hide my weaknesses. Step by step, I'll learn all there is to know and love about Tuli Hyolal and my fellow Turali. It might not be the smoothest path, but it'll be a path of my own making. I will find a city of gold for all of us, along with the answers you seek about your grandfather, Kryl. I swear. I appreciate it, Wuklamart. But you needn't take on that burden as well. Galuf Baldessian dedicated his life to protecting people from all manner of threats. As his granddaughter, I wouldn't wish to endanger others for the sake of a personal investigation. So let's just concentrate on winning the contest. We have a shared goal, and, if at all possible, I'd rather we enjoy the journey. Here, here. We are companions on the same road, bound for the same destination. With our combined talents, nothing will stop us from reaching the Golden City. Thank you. Thank you all. I am proud to call you my friends. Thank you. Thank you all. I am proud to call you my friends. They seem to be enjoying themselves. Are you sure you don't want to go and say a word to your sister? Nay, there is no need for that. Uh, but what of you two? Wuklamat's allies are your comrades. It must feel strange to be rivals. Helping you has made us rivals, aye. But we're not about to break into fisticuffs over it. Unless, of course, it is a matter of winning or losing the contest. Then I'll have no qualms about putting Alizé on her rear. Despite our long history, never have I been given the chance to test myself against our companions. The thought stirreth within me a most unexpected sense of competition. <laughs> Lamachi has surrounded herself with distinguished figures indeed. One of the studium's finest graduates, the head of the students of Bardesian. 
And then there's Eorzea's vaunted champion. If she's half the hero you say, then the odds are stacked against us. Not that I have any intention of bowing out. Our time in Urkel Pacha only served to strengthen my resolve. We saw how a single storm cut off the alpaca roots and threw my people's lives into disarray. Such uncertainties are why I advocate for the adoption of Charlian innovations, that Tuli Yolal might know greater stability and prosperity. Our nation can change for the better. And I will be the man to change it. Well, it's a start. I imagine your experiences on this journey, all the things you'll hear and feel and think, will help you refine that approach. But to return to the subject of the right, I'm a touch concerned by the condition for victory. The claimant who breaks the seal becomes Dawn Servant, not the one who performed the seven feats first. The would-be victor need only possess the seven keystones. That is correct. As the contest wears on, we must brace ourselves for greater conflict. Your rivals still lag behind. The second and third promise may have recruited competent lackeys, but none compared to you. <laughs> How can they hope to compete with the resilient son? The only child ever sired by a two-head. Only the ignorant or foolish could fail to see that you were born to be Dawn's servant. Such titles mean nothing. Ah, I neglected to mention, when I first heard the rumors that the contest involved the Golden City, I spoke in confidence with Gulul Jaja's inner circle. They all agreed on one thing. Whoever reaches the City of Gold will attain a power so great, it can dictate the course of history. If this power truly exists, then I humbly beg a fair share of it. Time is passing, and I would put my plans in motion without delay. The useless tool is cast aside, after all. And just so there is no misunderstanding, you consent to this course, no matter who is made to suffer. In battle, everyone bleeds. The Dawn's promise is no exception. What better lesson to teach our people the folly of war? Hoping for a good scrap, but this bloated sack of bile was no challenge at all. Hmm. I wonder if the house cat is dead yet. 
Be a shame to lose a plaything. But we'd still have two more. <laughs> if I may ask, Chosen One, what are your plans for Tuliola after you take the throne? Plans? What makes you think we get about all that? We care only about the contest and proving our superiority. That would surely please mother and father. Yes, and when we become Dawn's servant, we'll drive out the weakling masses and invite our kin to live in the city. <laughs> Fine idea! Our family deserves better than that rotten jungle. But do it then. We must catch up to that one-headed pretender and remind him of the natural order. I made it. I thought we were missing someone. Where have you been? Oh, I feared I was done for when I fell from the boat. Yet, somehow I made it. Oh, my arms, I can barely lift them. If, if I could just rest a moment. You expect us to wait for you? Those who can't keep up will be left behind. My brother has spoken. March, or be fodder for the beasts. But I followed the teachings! Everything I've done, everything I've sacrificed, all has been for the blessed seedlings. Wait. Don't leave me behind! I'm begging you! Man, this is getting interesting, huh? to say those things has brought me such relief. It's like a, a stone has been lifted. I don't want to encumber myself like that again. I want to be better. It will be better for myself and my people. The settlement of Ertenshire. It's not far from here, but be warned, the road we'll be taking is favored hunting ground for bandits. The stairs currently impassable, there'll be fewer travelers, meaning the brigands will be desperate for victims to ambush. Although considering present company, I suppose my concern is unwarranted. Bandits on the road, what have Silver Ultra and Lands Guard been doing? Seems it's up to me to restore order. And up she goes again. Now where are these bandits? Apparently they're not foolish enough to attack a party of this size. Urtenshire is just a little further ahead. Alright, let's go. The village where the Lee of Pots from Tulio Walsaka took place. It's in Shire, Lush. Shire. It'd certainly be cultural inclination, I wonder. Some of themselves couldn't be more different. This is Shire, com appears custom built.
Ah, oh, welcome, Merchantshire. Do I have the pleasure of happy greeting to the bird heard promise in her retinue? Yes. That's us. We're looking for the Dawn Servant's Elector, if you happen to know who that is. You're exchanging tongue flax with her right now. Ready Rock is the Elector you seek. That's horrible. We can cut straight to performing the feat. As much as Ready Rock would like to do just that, we have a much more pressing worry. There's storm which hit our village, shattered the cliffs, and dropped rocks on our brain cases. Many held hands for the pots when were injured. I'm sorry hey, that after learning what the storm did to the stairs, I feared you had been caught in its path. I have to change the subject, but what are the pots for? Goldsmiths contracted the work with the Moblins. The work comes from the pot-like workshops. The Moblins provide these pots, wonders, tools, materials, living quarters, everything the artisans could need. This allows them to concentrate on producing what is widely known as the finest gold. This is unacceptable. I was promised no distractions. Best they can offer? I should have never left Waku Meki See, the pots from desert us. Without enough healthy help plans, we're failing to uphold our side of the cack pot. pot. Okay. But all our pots won't leave. Her shire will grind to a halt. Now let us stand in the f injured helpers. Uh, it would give me a chance to learn more about your people. This is a tricky part of the contest, so don't feel obligated to join. Take a rest while you can. Of course I'll help. I was hoping you'd say that. I actually wasn't sure I could do this on my own. I'll help. I doubt any of us could just sit around and watch. Take every help hand we can get. Ready Rock, trust swears that once the Potshorn have their perfect workshops again, we will commence defeat. You and the Turk Promise can assist in the help hand of Rock and Rot. Let's go. Really appreciate you pitching in. And what I said, there'd be no more freeing strength, no more playing at being invisible promise. Interesting. Make most of having such incredible mentor in my side. Now let's find this rock rock fellow and see what we can do. C14 Dontrail. We're gonna go help these goblins of their uh, pot pot houses. Their work pots. That's gonna be interesting. See you guys next time on Dontrail. <laughs>